the entrance anaphon. The waves of death rose about me. The pains of the netherworld surrounded me. In my anguish I called to the Lord, and from his holy temple he heard my voice. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. Brethren, let us acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words and what I have done and in what I have failed to do through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore, I ask, Blessed Mary, ever virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Kyrie eleison. Kyrie eleison. Christe eleison. Christe eleison. Kyrie eleison. Kyrie eleison. Let us pray. May the working of your mercy, O Lord, we pray, direct our hearts aright. For without your grace, we cannot find favor in your sight. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the book of the prophet Jeremiah. I knew their plot because the Lord informed me at that time, you, O Lord, showed me their doings. Yet I, like a threshing lamb led to slaughter, had not realized that they were hatching plots against me. Let us destroy the tree and its vigor. Let us cut him off from the land of the living so that his name will be spoken no more. But you, O Lord of hosts, O just judge, searcher of mind and heart, let me witness the vengeance you take on them, for to you I have entrusted my cause. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The responsible psalm, O Lord, my God, in you I take refuge. O Lord, Lord my, my God, God in you, you I take refuge. refuge. O Lord, my God, in you I take refuge. Save me from my pursuers and rescue me, lest I become like the lion's prey, to be torn to pieces with no one to rescue me. O, o Lord, Lord, my God, God in you I take, take refuge. refuge. Do me justice, O Lord, because I am just, and because of the innocence that is mine. Let the malice of the wicked come to an end, but sustain the just, O searcher of hearts and soul, O just God. O, o Lord, Lord, my God, in you I take refuge. A shield before me is God. He saves the upright of heart. A just judge is God, a God of who punishes day by day. O oh Lord, Lord, my, my God, God, in you I take refuge. Glory and praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Glory and praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Blessed are they who have kept the word with a generous heart and yield a harvest to perseverance. Glory and praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Glory to you.
Some in the crowd who heard the words of Jesus said, This is truly the prophet. Others said, This is the Christ. But others said, The Christ will not come from Galilee, will he? Does not scripture say that the Christ will be of David's family and come from Bethlehem, the village where David lived? So a division occurred in the crowd because of him. Some of them even wanted to arrest him, but no one laid hands on him. So the guards went to the chief priests and Pharisees, who asked them, Why did you not bring him in? The guards answered, Never before has anyone spoken like this man. So the Pharisees answered them, Have you also been deceived? Have any of the authorities or the Pharisees believed in him? But this crowd, which does not know the law, is accursed. Nicodemus, one of their members, who had come to him earlier, said to them, Does our law condemn a man before it first hears him and finds out what he is doing? They answered and said to him, you are not from Galilee also, are you? Look and see that no prophet arises from Galilee. Then each went to his own house. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Good morning. Good morning, Father. This scene that's being set in John's gospel, this debate that arises between Nicodemus, the religious authorities and the Pharisees, the guards, these characters, the crowd, concerning Jesus is very important. And one must ask the question, what if? What if is a, a question of a possibility. Nicodemus is the one who has had to ask this question within himself. What if Jesus is right? The other Pharisees are not even willing to entertain the question. Nicodemus does and is judged by Christian history as a very good man. He doesn't have the same uh, bad thoughts or religious negative connotations when you say the scribes, the Pharisees, and you think of Nicodemus, you think, ah, oh, that's, that's the good one. He's a good man. Why? Because he was at least open to the possibility if Jesus was. The rest of the Pharisees were not. They had purposely closed that door. They weren't going to even entertain it. Because why? What does it mean to entertain the thought? I could only guess that it would mean a change of life. A change where maybe they don't have the same earthly power. But again, is it about earthly power? It may mean that they have to confront that which they don't want to confront, which Jesus represents truth. Truth about themselves, their actions, what they're doing, the way that they're living. It is easier to just purposely blind yourself to who you are and what you do rather than to to look at it courageously and say, Lord, do I need to change? Now, we can't just stop there. We can't stop with just that, speaking about the Pharisees and religious leaders in the time of Jesus, because that same question can be proposed to us. What if Jesus is the Son of God? What does that mean for us? Now, we as Christians would say, well, obviously, you're a priest. 
You're the lecture. You're watching. We believe. Do we? Do we? I think that that's a legitimate question because if I do, then how is my behavior justifying my belief? If I believe Jesus is truly the Son of God, then am I living the principles that he asked me to live? Am I trying to at least live them? We can't live them perfectly, but we are we at least trying? Or are we living them with a form of mediocre effort? Uh, a laissez-faire attitude. Well, I might go to church on Sunday, I might not. And now that it is uh, wisely being postponed from us, do we miss it all the more? Or does that just free up Sunday? Oh, well, now I've got extra time, I don't have to go to church. Because I can just pray wherever I want to. Some believe that. And profess themselves Christian. If I believe, what will this mean for me, my actions? Am I willing to face who I am in light of what Jesus asked? All these questions we have to ask ourselves. And the way I think about it, uh, my opinion, take it for what it's worth, we've got time or it's easy to, easier to make time now that everything is slowed down or come to a stop in certain areas. It's easier to make time than to really start to examine ourselves, to start to ask these questions. And if it's been a while since you have asked those questions, then in your prayer, ask the Holy Spirit to guide you. Find out what's going on. Where are you? And the Holy Spirit will answer. He will lead you. Okay. Now, mighty God be with you. May he bless you all. The Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Coming together as one family in faith, let us offer to God our prayers and our needs. We pray for our Holy Father, for our Archbishop, for all priests, religious brothers, sisters, permanent deacons, and seminarians. We pray to the Lord. The Lord hear our prayer. We pray for those who are sick or suffering this day, those in hospitals, nursing homes, the homebound, the homeless. We pray to the Lord. The Lord hear our prayer. We pray that God Holy Spirit could inspire and give to a scientist, a doctor, someone researching this COVID-19 virus, give them the grace to come up with a vaccination, possibly a cure, to help humanity. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Let us pray for those who are struggling at this, at this time with doubts in the God's providential care for us. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Let us pray for you, our brothers and sisters who watch this Mass on video, and for our elector, for all these needs and the needs of your families. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Offering all our prayers to the Father. Let us conclude with a prayer of praise in honor of the Blessed Trinity. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands that will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever.
Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine and work of human hands. It will become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice of your hands to the Amen. praise Amen. and glory of his name for Amen. our good and the good of all his holy church. Be pleased, O Lord, we pray, with these oblations you receive from our hands. And even when our wills are defiant, instruct them mercifully to turn to you through Christ. Our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with his spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere, to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, for you have given your children a sacred time for the renewing and purifying of their hearts. That freed from disordered affections, they may so deal with the things of this passing world as to hold rather to the things that eternally endure. And so with the angels and saints we praise you, as without end we acclaim. Holy, 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 holy Lord, Lord, God of hosts, hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the font of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread on giving thanks broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice. And once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis our Pope and Thomas our Bishop and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life, and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. 
Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command, informed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our, Our Father, Father, who art in heaven, heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress. So we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Of the kingdom, kingdom the, the power, and, and the glory are yours now, now and forever. forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church. And graciously grant our peace and unity in accordance with your will. Who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer, I'm sorry, <laughs> Lamb of God. You take, take away the sins, sins of the world. world. Have mercy, mercy on us. us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sin of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. communion and fun by the precious blood of Christ the blood of a spotless and unblemished lamb we have been redeemed An act of spiritual communion. My Jesus, I believe that thou art present in the blessed sacrament. I love thee above all things, and I desire thee in my soul. Since I cannot now receive thee sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart, as though thou wert already there. I embrace thee and unite myself wholly to thee. Permit not that I should ever be separated from thee. Amen. Amen. Let us pray. May your holy gifts purify us, O Lord, we pray, and by their working render us fully pleasing to you, through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Bow down for the blessing. Look upon your people, O Lord, and as they draw near to the coming festivities, bestow upon them abundance of heavenly grace, that helped by the consolations of this world, they may be impelled more readily 
towards higher goods that cannot be seen through Christ our Lord. Amen. And may Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in peace. The Mass is ended. Thanks be God.